Melissa Ortega. I am here today with the beautiful Lisa Marshall. We are standing today in front of the ever so angelic St. Jude Center. Um, I am about to walk in and Lisa is going to be introducing me to our one of our most recent uh, proud and prized students named Yvette. And we are going to give her a surprise of her life. Stay with us. This is a story of what happens when a teacher, a homeless young woman, and a volunteer at a homeless shelter collide. This is the story of Yvette Miller, a young lady who wasn't always homeless, completely unprepared for what she just walked into. Mrs. Delisa Ortega arrives to St. Jude Shelter for the Homeless. After hearing the horrifying details of Yvette's story, Mrs. Ortega was forever impacted. In her own words, one can never help a broken world until their heart is broken. If there's one thing we've all learned, it's that life can change in an instant. Nobody knows that better than Yvette Miller, because what happened next should never happen to any child, ever. Yvette was a sweet and happy little girl until a horrific chain of events triggered the downward spiral that dimmed every light she'd ever known. Yvette's safe haven, her very own home, became a place of constant terror. Each night, an intruder, a family member, would come to wake her up to molest and rape her. Yvette's childhood as she'd once known it had ended. After taking the situation to her mother, she was told not to tell lies. For years, she suffered in silence and it wasn't long before she fell into alcohol and drug addiction. This addiction would ultimately cause her to suffer the unimaginable loss of her six-month-old son who was killed when her home went up in flames. Eventually, Yvette's lost custody of her two remaining children. Within days, Yvette found herself sleeping at the city park, homeless. All she had were the clothes on her back and she had no idea where her next meal would come from. Day after day, Yvette's life had turned into a second-by-second -second survival. But then one day, in a miraculous twist of fate, Yvette began to go to the local AA meetings. Things began to look up, and ultimately she was accepted into the St. Jude Center for the Homeless. It was here where Yvette met one of her greatest heroes in life, shelter volunteer turned friend, Mrs. Lisa Marshall. It was through Lisa's undeniable support that Yvette found the unbelievable courage to pursue a second chance. I have a little bit of positiveness in all of this. It's something new for me, and it's an adventure, and I'm looking forward to it. So when she explained that she want, Yvette wanted to do medical coding and medical billing um, to get a better job. You know, I, I looked at the two or three companies that she was reaching out to and so I called them and they were a national company and um, they just weren't willing to do anything. Plus it was an online class and I just, I worried about the timeliness and, and everything and so I looked to see if there was something local here in Dallas, and um, that's when I, you know, ran into the medical academy, and I, I reached out to the sweet lady who answers the phone, and she said, well, I can't promise anything, but I'll get your letter. I said, can I please explain what I'm wanting for a vet, and um, she passed it on to Mrs. Ortega, and then I did bug her a couple more times to see if she had received the letter and, you know, and um, I was coming here the day to do the Valentine's party and that's when Mrs. Ortega called me. And I think why I was, a part, part of me was thinking, okay, she's gonna say, you know, thank you for your letter, but you know, at this time we can't do this. And, and that's why I was like interrupting her, but, 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 hold on, you know. And then she was like, no, Lisa, we're doing it we are going to do the whole class. And so, you know, I was running in here like a little kid because I was so excited for her, so excited, because I know this is gonna change her life. I could tell she had a big heart too, and really um, 
wants to see a vet succeed. And I feel very safe and comfortable that she's in good hands. I think you were telling me that you got in front of, um, you were working in an area where you saw people working at desks. Yeah. And it intrigued you. It did. What, what intrigued you? What, it, what? I was so curious about what was they doing because what I was always doing? used to seeing people working, standing on their feet uh -huh. in warehouses. I see. Or walking around in jobs. Uh -huh. That's what I was used to seeing. But when I started seeing somebody sitting at their desk, I was like, what, what are could you possibly doing? be doing? Right. Ah, and um, <laughs> that's how I found out about coding. Oh. That's how I found out about coding. And it, it really, I was so quizzical about that. I, it interest, interested me. Here, this big book <laughs> with all these numbers in it. Yeah, you saw that. And then they're uh -huh. reading these papers from the clinics and from the doctor's notes, mm -hmm. and they were doing this coding. And it was like, that was so interesting. I remember I stood behind a lady one day and I was just watching her and she said, well, if you want to know, ask me. And I was like, okay. And she explained it to me, even though I didn't understand it at that time, I was looking at the numbers. I'm not real good on math. Right. <laughs> so I'm assuming she took you under her wing and kind of grandfathered you in. And she did. And I didn't realize that you had to go to school for this uh -huh. and have training for this. I didn't realize it then. Right. But I realized that now I did a lot of research on medical billing and coding and other things as well. And it was like, wow, it's amazing. It's a lot. It opens it? up a lot of doors of opportunity yes. for me. Yes. Medical coding instructor and pioneer in the medical coding industry, Mrs. Delisa Ortega, is one of the founders of Medical Coding Academy. She believes Yvette's story will inspire everyone viewing this video today to get involved with helping the homeless. It should not go unnoticed that Yvette chose to share the most intimate details of her life because she wants us all to understand that no matter what you're facing right now, this too shall pass, and that you can always keep going by simply placing one foot in front of the other. In summary, people stereotype homeless people. They always assume they don't want to work. The truth is, the majority of them do. If you really think about it, being homeless, it's the hardest job of all. They work to survive minute by minute. They never sleep well. Their belongings are constantly being stolen. Most women are raped. They're mocked and they're judged. And in today's society, we act like we don't even see them. We look the other way. We literally make them an invisible human race. Not all homeless people are homeless due to addictions or mental illnesses or bad choices. A great number of homeless people are just like you and I, working people. Homelessness is affecting accountants, doctors, engineers, lawyers, degreed people who are hardworking and of sound mind. But sometimes an unforeseen terrible string of bad luck just happens to us. Think about it. The majority of Americans are one downsize, one accident, one incident, one job loss, one massive cut in hours, one unexpected medical condition, two missed paychecks away from their entire world's crumbling. Again, homelessness can happen to anyone. No matter where you're at right now, this can happen to you from one day to the next. Please get involved by giving your time or money to the homeless organizations in your local community with the mission of helping the homeless. Medical Coding Academy is taking action now. We are getting involved and we are excited to see what God with His mighty hand will do in all of this. Please share this video. It is our living and breathing duty to all mankind to take action and spread the word. Please just share it. Your return on that will not go unnoticed. Thank you all for watching and God bless you all.